Hey, good morning. Uh, my name is Josh Massey, and I'm the superintendent here at the Cimarron Valley Research Station in Perkins. Uh, we're working today on harvesting sweet potatoes, and this sweet potato harvest is part of a project that we are really looking at uh, the cover crops that are grown and trying to look at soil conditions and look at soil health parameters uh, as related to those cover crops, hoping that those cover crops will help improve our soil health. Uh, the sweet potato portion of it is one portion of it. Other things we look at are uh, aggregate stability of the soil, uh, water infiltration of the soil. Uh, we also look at uh, microbial, soil microbial populations within the soil, seeing how those change between the different cover crops that we're using. Now for the summer cover crops, we have a, uh, a uh, pearl millet and cowpea mix. We have a forage cowpea cover and we have a sorghum sedan grass cover. And then we have a fallow cover with that's just kept clean to kind of be our control plot there. Uh, so we rotate these cover crops through fall and, uh, and summer cover crops. And then we harvest our sweet potatoes. We also have a cowpea harvest and we've tried to do a spinach harvest, which hasn't been that successful, but we are hoping to get some good data uh, off these sweet potatoes that are coming out now. Uh, if you're growing sweet potatoes, it's always kind of good to have a little raised bed to put them on. That helps a lot with uh, airflow through there to keep disease down and water infiltration uh, to be able to uh, have a good water flow for those potatoes to, to take that up. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.